All right, make sure you've got everything set with a free agent fever. Begins Sunday, June 30th, 3 for then, uh, p.m. Eastern. Hey, can you say free agent fever like that again? The, no. <laughs> no. You know. Come on, you put a little bit of sauce on let there. Me, let me just, can little we come back on camera for a second? We just got to do some roll call. This is very important coming. It, it is not about the fever, but before we get one, uh, raise your hand if you have not left the set in the first five hours and seven minutes of our coverage. <laughs> Smitty. Okay. Hey Tom, hey, Tom, we got to do what we got to do. Out okay. Here. Raise, you know, raise your hand if you're comfortable right now. Oh, hey. I bet you are. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, Penn came back here. He was like grin ear to ear, had a burger in his hand. <laughs> I mean, I mean it's, 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 it's okay. We, we, we no, right no, here. no, we not right okay. <laughs> no, it's not okay. <laughs> Especially because you would think tenure would matter, and then for Smitty should have been the first to leave. We get to this point in the draft, who knows? That's kind of the story of free agency in a it's few days. The way. <laughs> I want to ask you the question I opened the show with for the draft, but now to free agency. Smitty, what are you most looking forward to learning or finding out or answering once free agency opens up? Is Kawhi Leonard staying in Toronto or is he leaving? Because I think that domino sets the table for everything that's going. And who's going first? For me, what happens in free agent, but Kawhi is the guy for me on that board. Uh, I agree with I agree with Smitty with uh, Kawhi in the situation. What happens with him? Does he stay? Does he leave? That'll set the table for the East or the West because whatever team he's going to be on is going to be up there. But just to say a little something different, to step out there a little bit, I want to see what happens with Kyrie Irving because Kyrie Irving is somebody that is a max level player, but some, some teams now are having questions whether he is a max level leader and they have questions about what happened in Boston this year, and we're hearing that his market might not be quite as hot as we once thought it would be. Yeah, it could end up here. Clearly, when we saw the Rock Nation tie-in, obvious to Brooklyn, you think Jay-Z, then Karis LeVert, by the way, who he's seen out with, also represented by Rock Nation. So, Tom, when you look at it, what kind of, what gets you excited, curious to find out once free agency opens? Well, I, I still think it comes down to Durant. So yep. while Kawhi moving is interesting, I think if he stays, it's not like they're the favorite. Who? In Toronto. the East. They are. In the East. They're, they're in the, the favorites East, in the league if he stays. I don't know. I don't think they were that. They, they darn what do you mean they were that what? You, they don't just, think that, you don't think they'd be the favorites and they, they get OG and Obi back? Why is everybody so angry? Well, they just <laughs> won the hey, 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 listen, Tom, we charged up over here, Tom. Can Tom. we get him a burger, please? Tom, <laughs> this isn't water. It's energy drinks. Keep in mind. But this side of the desk has not left. Come Tom, on, man. Tom, what is going on? I'm getting here. attacked. You got to have I your think, own opinion, right? I think it's Leonard, Kawhi Leonard. I think if he leaves. <laughs> no, I, they want, you weren't impressed. What do you mean by that? Look, I, I just I don't think they had that kind of dominant year. I don't think they'd be the favorite necessarily. I think it's still open in the East. They did, they weren't that kind of team. Okay, who would who would else have an opportunity to become the favorite in the East? I Let's say KD depend, stays in It depends in on how State. it all shakes out. This is this is my point. I, it's not a difference maker. Like if all the Golden State guys came back and were healthy, you'd say they were the favorite. I wouldn't say it's the same in the East. Okay. So that's why I say with Durant, if he leaves. That shakes up the West for the long haul, not just for this year. But you could argue, based on what we saw on the screen, the top teams in the East are all waiting with sort of bated breath here. What happens with the Celtics? What happens with the Raptors? What happens with the Sixers? What happens with the Bucks? We get Middleton on the screen. So there's still a lot to be lot. determined at the top of the East. You know, Tom, I would love to ask you this question. DeMarcus Cousins is intriguing. I know he doesn't shift the balance just because it's been two summers now. Yeah. I don't think he will garnish the money that for his talent yeah, because of the injuries but I do still think he's one of the top two or three bigs in his league B Wood and it just I feel bad for him that he might not get that big payday again this summer I feel bad for him because the game has changed so quickly around him what DeMarcus Cousins did when he first came in the league as far as scoring and rebounding was super valuable and everybody wanted to pay for that but now with it with the way the league is going if you can't play the mid pick and roll on the other end, you're not quite as valuable. And we saw that to a certain extent in the in the NBA Finals. Now, I know he was hurt, mm -hmm. but throughout his career, he really hasn't been a good defensive pick and roll player. Teams will pick on him in the pick and roll, and some teams will have some questions. Do they want to spend some money on DeMarcus Cousins, who's had some um, questionable character issues in the back in, in his in his past and on top of that he's not going to give you what you need from a defensive standpoint I want to go a little kind of rapid fire we'll 
I don't know what you call it. Free agent fast break. There you go. You can coin that. <laughs> All right. Uh, give you some kind of question because we look at the top of the board, and for some of these teams, it's not just big names, right? Because if KD goes back to Golden State and if Kawhi were to stay in Toronto, there's not as many moving parts. So let me ask you this. I'll start with you. Orlando. Yes, I'm bringing up Orlando. Do they pay Vucevic? Does he get overpaid by somebody else? I think Orlando pays Vucevic. Anybody disagree? I think Orlando pays On set? Which is a decision for no, them, but he clearly, may, after he, weighs 28 years old. But he may still leave because you just never know. With all these teams with space, as they go down their list, he may get quite a bit more somewhere else even. And, and for the record, if you were watching earlier when I brought up Orlando and I was yes. excited they were in the playoffs. You were excited about you know, Orlando. To the right of me, yes. they were not. So that's just for the record. <laughs> I mean, but you, you said Charlotte was th was striving to be Orlando. I was like, uh, hey, that's a little bit of a don't stretch. Skip, no, I've I mean, always been told, I mean, <laughs> don't skip steps. Okay. All right, yeah. Step one, become something like Orlando. Hey, step two, well, become hey, something hey, else. Hey, hey Andy, Way I, to love clean you, up, Andy. I love you, but no, nobody's striving to are be Orlando. Are we talking about... There's, we, not, there's not a GM like me. I got to follow that Orlando blueprint. <laughs> are, are we talking about like Shaq, 3D Nick Anderson, 94-95? Let's go from Orlando. Let me go here to Philadelphia, B-Wood. I think they're a fascinating team. We haven't hit much. Jimmy Butler, we don't know what happens. Many think, ah, oh, L.A., maybe somewhere else. Tobias Harris, does he get maxed? What happens in Philadelphia? What do you expect? If you had to say, okay, best chances that X happens in Philly, what is it? Best chances, I think, is that they, uh, they max Jimmy Butler. I think uh, coming into the year, at first I thought Tobias Harris was the better fit, but as the playoffs went along, playoff Jimmy stepped up. He took the he took control of this team, and I think that he also he speaks that la the same language as Joel and B. They speak that same type of crazy. And sometimes you need that guy <laughs> that can walk over there and tell the other guy, "Hey, listen here, I know you're a big dog, but I'm a big dog too. And let's and let's go out there and get this thing done." And they understand that. I'll and, throw and, one more. Go ahead. I was going to say to Tom's point, all things being equal. They were one shot away exactly. from advancing. We got about 30 seconds before the break. Bucks, who maybe are that team in the East that negates the favorite, Middleton and Brogdon. Any chance Make it a that face both again. don't return in Milwaukee? No. Both Brogdon's return. A, Brogdon's restricted, right. so they'll match that, and they'll keep Middleton because they had the best record in the East. Okay. And they got the growing pains out of the way. I think they and they're your the, favorite. They're my favorite. There you go. I got it out of them. I pulled it out of them. All right. Andy has traded Charlotte to Orlando. <laughs> we have Sharif O'Neal. So happy for Bull Bull. Man, you all don't understand really the big bro. We've got through so much. Coolest kid you'll ever meet. Can't wait to see you do big things. Great we do some final things. Hope we can be as good as Orlando these last couple of picks. <laughs> <laughs> the post. It is the Junior NBA Global Championship. The NBA's Youth Basketball Tournament. Top 13 and 14 year old boys and girls teams from around the world. It all returns this August. ESPN's Wide World of Sports Complex. At Disney, to learn more, visit JuniorNBA.com slash Global Championship. And we are in a draft in which that man is hoping he can be the beginning of the Griff Tour towards a championship for New Orleans, who also, by the way, added Jackson Hayes and Nick Alexander Walker in what was a big night on the draft side. Of course, the big Laker trade and shedding salaries. Solomon Hill, one of those, moved in the Atlanta deal. Big night for the Pelicans, big night for the Atlanta Hawks, among others. Last time he said that, who knows? And hey, the Knicks, they said no to Chris Paul and yes to R.J. Barrett. That's, I'll take it. Tom Penn. It's I'll, something. I'll take it. Our own Kristen Ledlow takes it away with our boy Griff. Zion may have seemed to be the obvious pick, but what made him so obvious to you? Yeah, so I think to some degree um, the human element of it was more powerful than the basketball element of it. I've said it before, but you're talking about a guy who obviously everybody can watch and knows, touched by the hand of God, right? Um, this is a population of one. There is no, there is no other person like this as a basketball player to be that size, propel his body with that much force and speed, and have touch, and be all about winning first. We really haven't seen that before in the league. So, the upside is enormous. But the beautiful thing is the work ethic matches all of that too. So you know, work rate's never going to be the reason that you don't succeed. Um, but the human part of this kid is just really special. His family is altogether unique. So, When you addressed the selection, you said now it's time to win basketball games. So what are your expectations for his rookie season? Yeah, so I, I think 
for us, like one of the most important things is he's not supposed to be the savior of the franchise, right? This is Drew Holiday's team, and we're going to continue to build a team in that image, and Zion's going to contribute to winning, we hope, at a very high level. But it's not on him to win games. It's on us to build a winner and for him to be a part of that. This is Drew's team, and so we're going to need to add veteran pieces as we go through free agency that contribute on that timeline. We want to raise all of our young players in an environment and a culture of winning. We don't believe in the idea of, of getting higher draft picks. We want them to experience winning basketball as quickly as possible, and so that's what we'll do. All right, Griff, Kristen, thank you very much. Some recent picks. Terrence Mann, perfect fit for the Clippers. Weatherspoon, a scorer. Brantley, how about Tremont Waters? Love it. What he did in that kind of resurgence after all the craziness with the coaching change and then some. Uh, but uh, from crazy back home, for a couple of us, including myself, uh, growing up 15 minutes away from Hofstra University, out there on Hempstead Turnpike, right next to the Nassau Memorial Coliseum, where our own Jared Greenberg went to school, and therefore, who else to ask for a scouting report on the Jazz pick? Jared, what do you got on uh, Mr. Foreman? Well, I, I, I think that the Jazz are getting a, an unbelievable <laughs> score, the second leading score in the nation, guys, this year, including some incredible dramatic clutch moments and he's a kid who's even a better human being off the court than he is on the court and you think about the trade that the Jazz just made to get Mike Conley giving up the likes of a Grayson Allen and this could be the type of score off the bench that Quinn Snyder could develop and somebody they really like it's the fourth ever draft pick at a Hofstra University I don't I don't count myself as one of those picks Casey but the first since the Golden State Warriors selected Charles Jenkins and keep this in mind as you mentioned who is, he's at home tonight, Justin Wright Foreman watching the draft in Queens, not too far from here, grew up idolizing Speedy Claxton, who went to Hofstra, won a championship with the Spurs. Now Speedy, an assistant coach at Hofstra, got to obviously play for him, and now he follows the line of Speedy Claxton by being drafted into the NBA. Now I'm sure Kimbrell over here to my left, our research extraordinaire, might know this. I don't. So I'm not putting you on the spot, but I know Speedy. I knew that one. Yeah. And then you mentioned Jenkins, and now you got Foreman. Who's the fourth guy well, Rich, Rich Laurel, way back in the day. Okay. Do, do we have a camera on? <laughs> we don't have any footage do we have that. a camera on Jared Greenberg? Because I saw from up top I my perch. I think that perch. is a camera no, on no, Jared no. Greenberg. Do we have one during the reaction? <laughs> because it was an extended fist pump. Yeah. I mean, you know, you almost ripped the back of your jacket because you were so excited. Tiger Woods esque, I would yes, say. Yes, yeah. when 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 you when you heard his name. <laughs> I don't know if there was a camera on your reaction, but hey, it was certainly epic. Hey, it, it, the, pun intended, Hofstra pride tonight. Does this make up for okay, Jay Wright Jared? leaving? Or probably not. Maybe not. Too soon? Look at Jared. He's excited. <laughs> I'm fired <laughs> up. Look at his no, he's, 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 char he's charged up down charged there. Charged up, boy. All right. Uh, it, it, it looks like Haywood all night. Carolina, no Michigan State yet, right? Mm -hmm. No Michigan no, State plays this year? Oh no, no, we just you know preseason rank number one. <laughs> That's all we are. I, I, watch, I, I, watch. Hey, 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 okay, Jared. Yo, how, yo, how, unco how, how uncoordinated is that fist pump, though? <laughs> no one has been that excited at the 55th peck past midnight, right? Did Jared laugh? Good stuff. <laughs> oh, we've left them speechless. <laughs> You know, yeah, the, 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 the crazy part is, is that you think we're loopy? Yeah, yes, I am. I wish you could be in the thank building you, thank every you time we go to break. Bird our own 3D is on the house feed, he's and he's rolling. still acting like it's 20 minutes into round one. <laughs> That's 3D, baby. Uh, <laughs> we come back. I'm not messing with you, man. It's our final segment. Nope. Of the program. I you promise. Me was. There you we promise. go. <laughs> that deserves a fist bump. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, how uncoordinated is that fist bump, though? <laughs> looks, like, looks, like first, looks like first day at boxing camp. Okay, Kyle Guy. <laughs> Kyle Guy, 